Hello viewers and welcome back to another video from GT Sports Mates where you will be joining us here at Dragon Trail Seaside. Now it's a five lap race with a rolling start. Please GT Sports get rid of rolling starts, they are so bad. Oh I hate rolling starts, but anyway nothing I can do about it so we're going to get on the way here as we come up the home straight to start this race. Now as you can see we are in third place, not a bad qualifying. Um, only seven cars, bit of a smaller lobby, um, but yeah, you know, every car counts, so let's see how we can get on. Looking up the inside of the Porsche there into the first game turns two and three, not quite close enough, so I decided to back out, but I'm right behind him now, coming down towards turn number four. Now, the guy in first place, what can I say about the guy in first place? Now, all I can say is in the qualifier, he was absolutely flying around this track and you can see he's already beginning to gap the car in second now I'm coming through the second sector here which is not very friendly for the Mustang the Porsche will do much better through there but because I'm in its toe I'm just managing to keep up with him through there very unusual I'll be honest for the Mustang through the second sector on this track very difficult indeed hard breaking down into turn number 11 as we come round now to, for the first time in this race, come into the Death Chicane. Now, if you have not played this game, <laughs> let me just tell you that it's aptly named. This car, this this set of corners there we've just gone through, has killed every single driver on this game at some point. No one has ever not crashed in the Death Chicane. Now you saw the Porsche just go into the wall a tiny bit on the exit. And that has given us the advantage we need to just go up the inside into turn 16, up to turn 17 here and onto the home straight on the end of lap 1. So we're up now to second place. The guy in first really, really pulled away in that first uh, in that first lap. It's going to be an absolute mountain of a job to try and catch him up. I'm going to do everything I can, but I'm going to tell you now, it's going to be difficult. But what I do want to say before we get any further on is this race, I, w I wanted to show it because it's a lesson on never give up. Never give up. Do not just think, oh, I can't do it and quit out. Never do it. And you'll see why at the end of this race. Please let us know in the comments if you've ever thought, I can't do this. I'm going to quit out. Rage quit it out and then gone, oh, I should have carried on. Like, I'm going to assume quite a lot of these have done that at some point. Um, but anyway, back to the race coming down the hill. I don't know why I just almost drove into the wall. I haven't got a clue, I'll be honest with you. Just lack of concentration, maybe, or lack of skill. That's that's always an option. Um, but we're going around turn 11 there. Back into, once again, the Death Chicane. Can we go through this time without hitting the wall? Make it two from two. It's going to be very quick through here. We're going to try and not hit the wall. <laughs> if we just scrape that wall I think we might have done um, yeah, that's what I mean though it's so so quick through there so so quick and you've really got to be gutsy because you'll lose so much speed coming down this little section here um, if you don't go through it at full speed but if you do it's so so difficult but one of the best rewards is getting through there unscathed I will say that if you can get through there fast and clean best feeling on GT Sports I'm not going to lie it really really is um now the Porsche as you can see made some ground up there through the slipstream of the Mustang he looked to make a move up the inside wasn't quite close enough just like myself in lap one so he decided to back out but he's very much still a threat at this point I can't just forget about him round turn four up turn number five braking very hard turning in super easy to actually miss your braking zone and go very very wide though even go off into the sand and if you go off into the sand though you are just going to plummet down the field because you just got you're just getting back on track it's an absolute pain we're in the second sector now and you can see just as going off the curb there this mustang very very unsettled through these uh, very quick s bends in the second sector i need to figure out a better way of getting around them i really do i just I always struggle through that. Breaking hard down to turn 11, trying to get as neat as we can to try and propel ourselves out onto the little straight here, going into the Death Chicane one more time. Now, will we hit the wall this time? We scraped it a couple of times, not actually hit it really close there, but going over the curb. And again, 
into the wall, but I think the two cars behind have also done the same. No one, as of yet, has crashed out in the death chicane in this race. Very unusual, <laughs> I will say. If you knew, like I said, if you've not played the game, please, play, even if you just play this one track, please have a go. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a fictional track. It's not a real track. It's fictional. It's been made for the game. But if you ask me, they've taken a lot of inspiration from certain real tracks and the death chicane i believe has been taken from the monaco track you know the bus stop the bus stop chicane at monaco apparently that's what the death chicane is based on and it's superb uh, and a few other little corners um on this track which have got took inspiration from elsewhere i won't get too much into it but please give it a go let us know what you think and oh all i meant someone's off in the background it looks like the porsche driver has had a bit of an accident. I'm not sure what's gone on. He's disappeared. So I'm no longer under attack from the back as of yet. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually sure what's gone on. But we're on the penultimate lap. So one and a bit laps to go. And I've got clear uh, <laughs> in front of me by several million miles. But I have got clear air behind me, which means I don't have to defend at all now. I can just concentrate on getting the power down, get the speed into this track very difficult to do especially in the mustang i will admit it. i absolutely love this track can we go through <laughs> just scraping the wall again i really want to do it clean um, but yeah i love this track it's a great track not the best track for the mustang but i'm not gonna stop driving it. it's just too much fun it really is too much fun around turn 16 though trying to keep it tidy again the gap behind is up to about three seconds I think it was at that point um, so yeah I haven't really got to worry too much about him unless I wipe out at some point which is very easily done but it's the guy ahead I mean we can't even see him where's he gone? I don't know but <laughs> it's the final lap now I did say that this race I wanted to show because it's a lesson in not giving up now what do I mean now you may have figured it out, you may not have figured it out, I, I may crash out and then spin and whatnot and somebody else could come from nowhere and overtake me. I'm not going to spoil it, just keep watching to the end. Now down into sector 2, round these s bands really trying my hardest to take as much speed as I can. Just trying to avoid these curves at all costs because if I go over them you can see how unsettled the Mustang becomes gapping the guy behind a little bit more now which is making this a lot more comfortable down into turn 11 hard on the brakes the guy in front just absolutely disappeared on us in the last uh, last lap there coming once again into the dash can we get this time I mean, there's a yellow flag there is a yellow flag someone has wiped out and i think we know who it's going to be it's the guy in first place i'm going to come around i actually get around pretty well i'm going to down his left side there we're in the lead on the final lap coming down to turn 16. I did say it's about never, ever giving up race to the end. I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you. I actually feel kind of bad. That guy, he just walked away and he did not deserve to lose. But it happens. And if I had to give up, I wouldn't have took a victory though. A bit of a hollow victory, I'll admit. But it's still a victory. But I want to see what happened so as you can see he is in the jag and it's a superb car on this track this car absolutely brilliant coming into uh, turn 11 here this is now entering the death chicane now he's on the fifth lap and as you can see from his split he's not going to be setting any fastest laps so what does he do does he try and take a conservative and get it wrong nope he's gone full throttle into turn 14 there and absolutely destroyed himself i'm going to come through actually doing a pretty good job and i'll give him this he does come across the back we i don't think he was aiming to hit me or block me there he's gone he's raced proper and he's he's understood he's made a mistake and he's it's cost him and he hasn't tried to cheapen his i'm gonna say victory because let's face it he absolutely deserved it um yeah it's a shame what happened but that is what that's the nature of the beast in the break. and he's gonna get a little bit annoyed coming across the line handbrake in it i think just out of annoyance but there you go, everyone, a lesson in never giving up uh, and a lesson as well about the Death Shikim. So that's all we've got time for. Please give us a like and a comment and a share. And until next time, see ya.